This summer, we are taking a look at uh, some passages of Scripture out of the Old Testament, particularly some of the, uh, the prophets. And uh, we've looked at Micah and uh, a little bit of Hosea. And we're into Jeremiah. This is the third week we're looking at Jeremiah. Next week, we'll do one more uh, from Jeremiah. We did a, a message out of Ezekiel. And uh, there'll be one coming yet on Amos and then a, a message out of the book of Daniel. But if you'd like to follow along, either with the words on screen or in uh, the Bible that you've brought with you this morning, uh, I'm reading from Jeremiah 18, verses 1 through 11, and I'm using the New International Version. This is entitled, At the Potter's House. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Go down to the potter's house, and there I will give you my message. And so I went down to the potter's house, and I saw him working at the wheel. But the pot he was shaping from the clay was marred in his hands, and so the potter formed it into another pot, shaping it as seemed best to him. And then the word of the Lord came to me, O house of Israel, can I not do with you as this potter does, declares the Lord. Like clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. If at any time I announce that a nation or kingdom is to be uprooted, torn down and destroyed, and if that nation I warned repents of its evil, then I will relent and not inflict on it the disaster I had planned. And if at another time I announce that a nation or kingdom is to be built up and planted, and if it does evil in my sight and does not obey me, then I will reconsider the good I had intended to do for it. Now therefore, say to the people of Judah and those living in Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says, look, I am preparing a disaster for you and devising a plan against you. So turn from your evil ways, each one of you, and reform your ways and your actions. May God add his blessing to the reading of this, his holy word. Thanks be to God. 